Violating a protection order is a serious offense, and it comes with serious consequences. In the next few minutes, I'll explain what can happen if you're accused of violating a protection order, and how a criminal defense attorney can help you out of that situation. The primary question that's asked by anybody who's facing violation of protection order charges is what exactly constitutes a violation of a protection order and how serious is this? Violating a protection order means that you have violated some part of a protection order that's been placed against you, whether it's by a civil judge or a criminal judge. They are serious offenses because ultimately in the end, you have to follow court orders no matter what. So the potential consequences that you're facing for violating a protection order can be up to 364 days in jail and potentially classes or some sort of domestic violence treatment. You're facing potentially a fine. You're also facing at least a year of probation, if not more. Some of the defenses that can be raised when you are accused of violating a protection order are very dependent upon the actual case that you have. Some common ones, however, are one that you were misadvised as to what the conditions of the protection order are, and so you didn't knowingly violate something. In addition, you can argue that you aren't the one who violated it. In certain circumstances, let's say somebody grabs your phone and texts the person that you're protected against. That's not your fault. You didn't know who they texted, but you're not the one who did it. And then finally, the protection order itself is maybe a little bit vague, and so you didn't try to violate it. It's just, it's a misinterpretation either by the state or by yourself as to your actions about it. So if you're accused of violating a protection order, you need help and you need help quickly. You need a skilled defense team to be able to sit down, review that protection order, review what exactly they're accusing you of violating, and really being able to figure out the best attack possible. A lot of these cases move very, very quickly and are resolved within a year. That may seem like a very long time, but it's actually a very short amount of time, especially when you're considering the pressure going into it. So you need to get help and you need to reach out to a skilled attorney right away. If you're facing protection order violations, learn how my experienced team can help you out. Reach out to us today for a case assessment.